Right, welcome to A Day in the Life of Michael Smith. I, put, I figured this would be a good opportunity to try out my new camera, and you can basically see what a day is like for me. So, at the moment, it is just gone 7 o'clock. I just got home from work. I'm absolutely freezing my nuts off, and I'm going to bed. So I'll see you all in about 7 hours. Right, it's about 2 or about 2 p.m., and I'm about on the verge of getting up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I want to stay in bed. Right, I'm now finally awake, and I have bad hair. Yay. And it's just gone half two. Just checking my emails, and look at this. Da -da -da. I have one, two, three, four subscribers. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <sighs> well, better way to start your day off then with a donut and a cup of tea. Mm -mm -mm. It's about quarter to three. Gonna have these and have myself a bath. Right, it's now gone about quarter past four. I finally got around to having a bath and did a little bit of you did a little bit more YouTube before getting the bath. So now I'm ready to start enjoying my day off. Right, so I'm gonna play a bit of a game I'm researching for my Christmas special. As you can see it's right over here. Santa Claus saves the earth. Yeah, quite a fun sounding title for a game. But in order to properly review it, I need to play the game before I even write the script or even record the gameplay. And for jotting down notes, I use my Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. So, should be interesting. Right, so the time is about 4.36pm, give or take-ish. Been playing this for about 20 minutes. Got Tons of notes. I can't get past the first level to save my life. It's not hard, it's just awkward. But you know the kind of awkwardness you play and it's like, it's not you, it's the game. I don't mind if I lose because the game is hard. It's hard, it's a challenge, it's life, you overcome it. And you get the satisfaction of doing it. That's what a great game should be about. But look, see, I'm dead. Ugh. <sighs> Right, let's try again. As they say, once more into the, much more into the trench, dear fellow, or something to that effect. Right, it's just gone five o'clock, and I can't even get past the first level. Look, again, I am dead. How am I going to review this if I can't even get past the first damn level? <laughs> I think I'm going to play something else in a minute, I'm kind of getting peed off with this game. It's just gone quarter past five, you won't believe it, I completed the first level, yes! It's still a bad game, but yes! Right, I'm going to attempt level two, and if I get stuck, I will probably call it a day. Got loads of notes done, so... Just gone half five, and you won't believe it, I just got past the third level. This is strange, level one was a pain in the ass to get through, level two, not so much, level three, a pushover. The this game's in reverse order, normally you start easy and then harder, harder, harder. But this game's in reverse order, so, looking pretty good so far, level three. Right, about... 25 to 6 and you, you know what I've just completed level 4 of Santa Saves the World this game is just getting more and more easier the first level was a pain it was a it, this is a really strange game honestly each level gets more and more easier as you play it right time is just gone 10 past 6 I'm going to have a break on that game. I've got to about level 6. I'm going to see if I can get further later on or complete it. 
if I can complete it, then I can start jotting down my notes on the computer and start gathering gameplay footage. But in the meantime, I'm going to have a break, watch a few YouTube videos, and have a cup of tea. Yes. Good old tea. Yep, lots of tea bags, because I drink quite a fair bit of tea nowadays. Must be an English thing. Ooh, too much zoom. Okay, milk. I'll put the tea bags away first. Oh, and some milk. Perfect. Not too much, not too little. Alright, put the milk back in the fridge. Got some beers for later. I've got three John Smiths. I've got a Hobgoblin and Gentleman Jack. I'll probably have that and maybe one or two of them later. Not really a big drinker, but I do do like a, you know, a couple of beers in the evening. Staring at tea. And staring at tea. It's very difficult one handed. <laughs> yeah, that is perfect. D. Uh. Got my tea now. What am I going to watch? Let's see, I've got a video on, where is it, where is it, there, yep, yeah, there's the book of, where is it, the book of unwritten tales PC video review by Half Blind Gamer, so this should be interesting, I'll have a look at that now, oh, too much zoom, yeah, that's right, right, about, mm, 22 past 6. That was a pretty good review I just watched. Really enjoyed it. I might actually pick the game up actually. Well, I think I saw it um, on the adventure shop, so I'll definitely download it later. Right, what other video I'm going to watch? Um, there's some videos by Oto272. Space Harrier title with in game music. That could be interesting. Let's have a look. That's pretty funky. Let's see. Crackdown Spectrum Music by Oto272. Let's try that one. Mm. That's more like it. Right, let's respond to him. Um, that's some funky. That's some funky music, Mappy. Uh, Mappy's an old nick nickname I got for Oto too, because we were talking about dancing, and one of the old games you used to like playing was Mappy. So. Let's see what else. Oh, he's got another one. Motor Madness Spectrum Top Music. Yeah, let's try that one out.
It's a cool toilet picture. Bad little tune. Pretty, pretty groovy tune. Alright, let's respond to him. Um, pretty cool tune. Pretty cool tune, and what a badass, what a badass Tina title screen. Yeah, pretty cool tune, what a badass title screen. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what this one is. Guerrilla War Spectrum Total Music. Yeah, let's have a look at this one as well. Guerrilla War. Hail the heroes. Yeah, I'll do that later on. Oops, got a new email. Um no, junk mail. Okay, tune. Let's respond. Okay, tune. But wow, love the fire effect a uh, around the word war. Kiki. I just got effect wrong. E F F E C T. Yeah, that's more like it. R. Error. Try again. F O A N T A G G. Yep, that's better. I've done it now. Let's have a look at another video. Let's see what else is that from watch. Ooh, beer review by Tecromancer One. Let's have a look. He's doing. All right, guys. Black Welcome lager. back with another Tecromancer Tech Beer Review. And I'm yeah, I know I stumbled there. <laughs> kind of late. When it be this week? I'm taking on. Guinness Black Lager. Uh, That's interesting. Guinness Black Lager. I've never tried that. I need something to help you chill out, you know, this weekend. And i never seen this down like cold brew. Okay, wow. I gotta try this one. Because I tried the other uh, Guinnesses. Mm. Guinness has always been a nice taste in beer to me. So pretty good. Yeah, mm, that is nice jazz in the background. Right, I'm going to watch some Battlestar Galactica. Uh, this is the second to last episode of season two. It's Lay Down Your Burdens Part One. Um, so, far, I mean, I started watching Battlestar Galactica about a month ago. I've been watching it on and off since then. I think the first season was a, was a bit slow. Second season definitely fine on its feet. Um. It's not a bad series. I mean, I loved the original as a kid, but I don't think it's aged very well. I think it's extremely cheesy. And this new one has definitely got a different take on it. It doesn't totally focus on the space combat. It's got life in the colonies and loads of other cool different perspectives. So, and the one of the cool things about Star Galactica is it's got that the steady cam sort of in your face camera action. Nothing over the top, just the camera is there, following you around, which is pretty cool. I mean, Stargate Universe did that, and it did it pretty well, but the series just never got an audience. 
I mean, it only started becoming really good until the second se second half of the second season. I mean, that second half was just some the greatest sci-fi of the sin. But oh well, I got cancelled. So I'm gonna watch this episode, and I'll see you all later. Right. Um. Oh. Right. I was about to watch the episode, but look at this. I got an. Um, where is it? Oto2272 posted a comment saying, Hello, can you see my channel comment? Is it working? Probably not. Oh well, sigh. Yes, Oto, I can see it. And you're on camera. So let's respond to him. So, let's see. Yes, I can see your C-O-M-M. -M. Yes, I can see it coming. And I'm filming, filming myself, reading, oh, uh. oh, this is really difficult one-handed. What I've written is, yes, I can see your comment, and I'm filming myself, and... Oh, alright, I need to put an I there. Oh, I have an M. Over there, over... Yes, good pointer. Right, yes, I can see your comment, and I'm filming myself, reading it, and responding to it. Uh, yay! And posted. Here, here. Right. Back to some Battlestar Galactica. Right, before I forget, I've got to put dinner in the oven. So, I've got a nice shepherd's pie. Yum. Need to put this onto about six. Right, time is about half seven. Just finished watching that episode of Battlestar Galactica. Pretty good, actually. I wasn't going to watch one, but it's such a huge cliffhanger. I'm going to go straight to the second episode. So, I'll see you all later again. Right, it's about ten to seven, and it's dinner time. Yeah. Got shepherd's pie, some cabbage, and some nice lovely gravy. And to wash it down, got some beer. And this beer is Gentleman Jack. Let's see if I can focus on the Jack. Come on, come on. He's got a little dupe, he's got like boxing gloves and stuff. It's a premium ale with a formidable left hook. Nice. What's the strength of it? It's... Oh, it's 5%. Nice. Right. Time is about 10 to 9. I just finished watching an episode of Battlestar Galactica. And what I'm going to do now is listen to my notes and then put them on a notepad file so I can use that for the script for my Santa Claus uh, 2011 blah 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 Christmas special. Pretty doody. Right, that's the notes done. Got something about a page and a half. Right, yeah. Right, so apart from playing the game beyond the levels I played, to give me an idea of if there's anything else worth mentioning. I would say most of the relevant things are, are there. So from these notes, they'll be put into the scripts and then I find a way to incorporate different sections. That's how I build up my scripts nowadays. I tend to get notes, 
put them into it and then gradually move the notes into the script and then try to form some kind of structure so that you go from the beginning and you gradually go through each of these points but in a constructive way so what am I going to do now um, I'm not sure actually I might play the NES for a bit uh, what time is it? It's just gone quarter past nine. Right, it's about twenty past nine, and I decided to play some DuckTales on the NES. Can't be a bit of DuckTales, so... I died. I managed to complete... What was it? The Amazon... The Amazon level. The Himalayas. And... The mines, and then died in the moon level. Oh well. What to play next? Um... Uh, I think there's some Jane Sillis, I think. And the time right now is about it's about twenty to ten. I managed to get to the end. Uh, let's see what time is it? It's about ten to ten. I uh, got to the second level of Jane Silius and then died. So I'm gonna watch another episode of Battlestar Galactica and then probably watch a film. So okie dokie. Right, it's about quarter to eleven. Um, I just finished watching the first episode of season three of Battlestar Galactica. And now I'm playing me some The Longest Journey. Right, I'm playing this so that I can get some more footage for my um, Longest Journey retrospective. It's a lot of work, I mean I'm still writing parts 1 and 2. And I've got to get the gameplay footage as well. It's absolutely, it's going to be one, well, it's going to be a more big undertaking than the Shimmy retrospective, I reckon. But it's good fun and it is a challenge. I mean, with the Chevy perspective, half the information in it I knew off my heart, and the other half was pretty easy to get. Whereas this, it's like, there is a lot of information, but it's all over the place. You've got to actually search out, like, old interviews, old magazine articles, and the wiki page doesn't really tell you that much other than the synopsis. So in order to try to find information about the conception, the history, timeline, and even the future of the series, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm recording gameplay footage. I used a program called Fraps, which is a pretty good program, but the fast houses are huge. I mean, I, would, I, recommend, I reckon the, um, the work and the uh, project file for this respective is probably about, I don't know, 120 gigs so far. I mean, the Shenmue one, with every bit of media, like gameplay, music, interviews, everything, the whole thing came to about 170 gigs, so this is probably going to end up doubling that, I reckon. Right, it's about Shit. quarter past twelve. I'm still playing Longest Journey. I must be getting towards the end of chapter either four or five. So I've got some more gameplay footage. Uh, you can see a bit over here. Now, the average person would be thinking, hmm, I should probably go to sleep by now, but because of, because of work nights, I probably won't even fall asleep until about 6 in the morning, so... Yep, got tons of quality time all to myself. Uh, right, time has just gone 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, just finished the, I just finished the chapter 3 in the, in the longest journey. I've logged the footage into the project folder. So I'm going to call it a night for Longest Journey Retrospective. At the moment I think I'm up to Chapter 3 of the Longest Journey and in Dreamful I'm up to Chapter, I think it's 4 or 5. See Dreamful is not too long, I mean that could be done, I don't know, I think, I think the game could be complete if you knew what you were doing, maybe 6 hours. Longest Journey, maybe about 10 hours. So, I mean, apart from getting the gameplay and getting the script done, that's that's the most of the work. Once that's done, then hopefully early next year I can work on that retrospective. 
I think it's time for another cup of tea. Got my tea. It's probably gone about ten past one. Uh, I'll probably be awake until about six in the morning. I probably won't do much other than watch a bit of TV, maybe a movie. It's about it really. So I want to say I hope you found this interesting. This isn't my typical day. Basically, this is an extreme lazy day. I, mean, I don't really do a whole lot today. Reason for that is this is my first day off in about one of a week, and I needed it. And when you when you're that knackered, I think you just want to not do anything. I mean, tomorrow will be a lot different. I've got tons of things I've got to do. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I salute you with my tea.